Hi guys, I'm glad to see you here. My name is Maria and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second video for this day and we'll talk about Bitcoin, we'll talk about Ethereum because you know that there are some things that are happening on cryptocurrency market and all my friends, fellows and traders are so interested about what's going on and what it will be with the Bitcoin because, well, you know, there are some traders who bought Bitcoin last night and also there are some traders who are like, oh, go, Maria, come on, you have to buy Ethereum already. So, um, you know my, you know it style. I usually buy something if it starts to show me a good opportunity for long positions. But right now we are gonna have some bad news for currency market as well for cryptocurrency market as we had as we had last uh, months for cryptocurrency market. But right now. Uh, market feels like all the bad news are a push for a long uh, positions and I want to show the technical reason for us to open deals to buy something or sell something or hold it so I want to just discuss with you the trading situations um, that I use all the time and this is only for Bitcoin and Ethereum I know all other instruments that you are interested in if there is something that I can help you with you're welcome to write under the video and we'll discuss it in the next video look i'm not the cryptocurrency trader that um, makes deals uh, make make deals every day and i'm not the one who's giving you a trading idea all the time but i'm the one who was buying instruments uh, like bitcoin ethereum and others and cardano and um, polkadot and all that so I am the one who is buying instruments because I see the technical opportunity and when I had a technical reason to finish all those deals for Bitcoin, for Ethereum and others, I did it. I wasn't waiting for all those downgoing tendency for all those, you know, screwing people. What should I do? Should I buy Bitcoin or not? So yes, I'm not the one who was... Uh, in a bad position and right now I'm the one who's watching technical reason and I'm the one who will tell you a good technical point to buy or not to buy. Look what market does. There are some news that make you feel uncomfortable like you should do something. Something bad is happening and you have to act because like your trader or your well, friends or you know some people around you are doing something with the deals and you're like, oh, I have to do something as well. It's not like that. Come on. If you will act with your emotions, you will lose. Not today, but tomorrow you will lose. Come on. If you do trade with your mind, if you do trade with your technical reason, you will win not today, not tomorrow, but in a year, in two years, in five years, and you will live with the market. But if you trying to find if you're trying to find some hype idea, some something that will make you earn money really fast, well, you know. Is it come? Is it goes? It's like that. So if you earn really fast, it looks like you can lose really fast. Okay. Uh, let's go to technical reason. That's something that I use for many years. I'm pretty old, <laughs> and yes, I use it for many years. And this is something that I want you to use for your many years, no matter how old you are right now. That you have to learn rules from day to day. I work with people who want the rules you know the secret rules that will help them to earn money today and become super rich but this is uh this is not something that happens to you right now this is a process that you have to leave and if you leave like that with all the rules with all the positions for stop losses and entry points you will win all the time so let's go to technical reason for bitcoin and the theorem to work we will discuss right now the daily chart the one one hour chart and your targets i will be really glad to help you with that so let's go and uh this is the bitcoin four hour chart i think that we should open something Let's make like that. Now we should open something like a daily chart. Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna find it. Or now, ah, uh, yes, it's right here. The Bitcoin. I wanna find something without my drawings. Yeah, like this. This is nice. And I want to open monthly chart. You have to see with your eyes what's going on with the monthly chart and to realize what you see you always have to check okay i'm i'm trying to delete everything so you see only chart you have to realize what you see right now 
this is the bottom part, this is the maximum part. Where is your price right now? For example, if you take and take a look at this, the bottom part, you take a look at the upper side. Wow, it looks like price is touching the middle side, isn't it? It's like it's like a middle of this. This is not range, but this is the middle price between lowest and highest prices. Okay, so this is like the middle. Do you see any ideas? Like, do you have any ideas? Is it going to go down? Like, there are some traders, I will tell you. There are some traders who are pushing me all the time. Maria, come on. It's falling down. Bitcoin will go down to this area, 3,700. Well, okay. If they feel like that, okay. I'm, I'm fine. What do you see on a weekly chart? It's still there. It's still in between. It's on the middle side. You can see it with your eyes. This is the easiest instrument that you could use, the range, the easiest one. And this is the 50% of these highest and lowest prices. Do you see price is, does, does price is trying to break the bottom part? Well, actually, it's trying to hit it from the bottom part. You see, uh, we, uh, 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 in May, we saw like price is trying to go down. Someone is buying it. After that, in June, price is trying to go down. Someone is buying the Bitcoin, but they are not making you highs. So price is trying to go down again last week and someone bought it. So Bitcoin went up. Hmm. Do we have sell signal or buy signal? No, there is no buy or sell signal. There is nothing. We just can take a look at this situation and understand that under this price, 32,600, it really may go that high, that, that far, that far. It may go to 3,000 or 4,000 or whatever, okay? Let's go to daily chart. What do we see here? Do you have any trading ideas right now that will push you to buy or to sell? No. Price is still being really, really boring. Look here. It is boring. Here is the lowest price, which is the bottom part, by the way, in the beginning of this year, it was the same, the 30,000 area. Do you see price trying to go up? No, it's not trying to go up, actually. Yeah. I want to, I wanna, you know, like, I, I want to delete, yeah, I want to delete this part, but I want to leave this range. What do you see right now? Do, do they try to show you the new maximum? No, they're not. Are they trying to show you the lowest price? No, they're not trying to show you that. Do you have trading signals? No. We are just getting some news that make people say, oh, it will go really high right now. But someone writes me like, oh, Maria, we should sell Bitcoin. It should go down really well, like to 3,000. We don't have any signal. I hope you understand my point that we are not getting any signals right now. Let's go to 4-hour chart. On 4-hour chart, this is something really important right now. On 4-hour chart, you have to use the Fibonacci extension. Look here. And don't push me with all those messages. Come on, let's buy, let's say. Come on. We are just making the same thing all the time. In my previous video, I showed you the same in the morning. In the morning, I showed you, well, there was a guy who asked me to discuss the forex situation, but I know that the cryptocurrency market is like the one right now who is the most important for all traders. So I usually discuss the Bitcoin and Ethereum as well. So what do we see here on, uh, for Bitcoin? We see that price is touching the first target first. If you make this Fibonacci extension, you see price touching first target. So only above, when they break the 34 thousand four hundred area only above this area we can buy with the target thirty nine thousand well the first one will be thirty six thousand eight hundred eighty after that it will be thirty nine thousand and the fourth one is forty two thousand so there are like three targets that you can use okay what is the moment for us to buy well you would say come on price is being above the first target so this is the moment to buy is it let's try to find it answer. Okay, this is one hour chart. You can see that price really, price hits the first target on Fibonacci extension. You're right. What's next? Should we buy right now? 
You have to draw all the time. Come on, my colleagues. You have to draw all the time all those, you know, tendencies, all those new maximums. We will draw this tendency. Does it give me any opportunity to make a decision? No, it's not. I will make another tendency. Does it help me to get a decision? Well, I can see that price has been above the tendency, so it's pretty okay to go up and buy. On one hour chart, the tendency is upgoing tendency. Super. What is my target? What is my risk right now? Look here. As a risk, I still think, let's make it like that. Yeah, this is okay right now. As a risk, um, I would say that we need price to hit this maximum because it's not even trying actually. It's not even trying. So here is the maximum price 35,474 for different um, for different um, um, platforms the price may be different. So after, after they break this area, after they are so powerful to go above this area, come on, join it and buy it. I just told you targets, come on, go and do that. The 39,000 area is for you. But only after they break this level of resistance. What if they don't? If they don't break this level of resistance and they keep... And they keep, uh, for example, uh, uh, they will stay in a range, you just have to trade within range. That's it. What kind of range? Let's decline. I hope all those levels are understandable for you, so we'll cancel them. And I want to show you the range that I like right now. We should take, uh, I would say, Fibonacci range. Yeah, like that. So what do we see here? Oh, the price has been under the 50% area again. What does it mean? It means that price, only after they break this level of resistance, will go up here. Right now, there is no entry point for us for long positions, okay? So what, what, what else can we trade? What, what else can we think about? Mm, let's try to predict down down tendency for example i i will change uh, now now i will change the um the screen if you decided that price may go lower what is your target how you can find this target a couple of weeks ago i'm not sure if i showed you on this youtube channel but i did it for my russian friends and traders and my youtube channel in russian language so look here I made the Fibonacci extension from the highest price in the beginning of this year, well, in April of this year. You take this maximum price, you take the, this minimum price in April, and you take this maximum price in May. You put the Fibonacci extension and you get all those targets that lead me up to 27,700 area. It means that if price will try to go lower, this is your target. This is not like an area where they will stop going down or this is not a target to sell right now, but only if they start to go down on one hour chart and you see them breaking the uh, extremes down, you, you understand that the price is trying to go lower. This is the, an area where we will try to catch Bitcoin. So this will be our target to sell to. There are many traders who are making fun, like, oh my God, no, never you will see 27,000. But in the same time, there are traders who are telling, like, the, the price will be 3,000 for Bitcoin. We are not just talking with you, okay? We are not just, you know, like, discussing something. We always act when we see technical reason to trade. That's why I'm showing you all those technical drawings. You can see right now, price is trying to go down. So it means that price may go where? To 27,000, but only if you see the uh, extremums are being heated. So the new extremum down, 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 and this will mean for us an opportunity to go lower. But if you see that they break the 35,200 area, they will go higher. Okay, now we go to Ethereum, and for Ethereum, uh, it's not the same, and it's absolutely not the same, because um, it's... This is a totally different instrument for me. And you have to understand that every each of them is really unique and you have to go through every each of them with the technical reasons. Why I'm telling you that this is a unique situation here? Look, 
we, we also have to take a look at the history. The bottom part over here, the highest part over here, what we do, we take the Fibonacci channel. This is not a channel. This is not a reason to put a channel. I'm just showing you where price, the current price, due to all those maximum and minimum prices, okay? So current price is under the 50% channel area. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Okay, they broke the 50% area and they are trying to retest it. Do you understand that? Do you see this? This is the lowest price, this is the highest price, this is the middle price of this range. So now we can see that price is trying to test it as a bottom part. Uh, it, it was a bottom part and now it's it's like a ceiling, yeah, it's like a, a resistance. I hope you understand what I'm telling you about. So this upgoing movement right today, is it's not a key for us to open all the long positions and wait that they will go up. Because anytime they may start to go lower and lower. I told you a couple of videos ago, I told you that price may test this area, 1,300 area. So what I feel like is good to wait for Ethereum for nearest future, this area, this is around like 2,300 area, which they may test, give us rebound and try to go lower. In my previous video, I told you that only under 1,700 1, area, they will test 1,300 area. But right now we can see that price is going really high. How high? You take 200 moving average, you take this middle part of this huge range. Well, I will, I will call it range, but you understand what I mean. It's not a range. Okay, so the, the blue one. So yeah, if they start to rebound from this blue area, this will mean that they may go lower up to 1,300 area. Uh, well, if it's too complicated, I would advise you to go through technical analytical researches and not to believe to some use, but believe in some technical researches, which is really, really useful for traders. Also, you can check, look here, I make the tendency with the highs. You, you see the highest price in June, highest price in June 15th, and you take this tendency, and excellently it happens that near 2,220 area, they may test it, stop, and go down. So yeah, this is like the this is not the highest price that they may test, but this is like resistance, which will be important for a market. We also can add some Fibonacci extension. Let's check it. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. So here is the price 2,300, as I told you before. Yes, 2,300, which they may test. So this is area as a fourth target with the Fibonacci extension that may be tested and from there they will try to go down. Well, that's how it works. I'm not making any forecast that this is an upgoing tendency only after they break this fourth target. I see that Bitcoin is also trying to climb up and I get some news that are really good for cryptocurrency market, which are not really good lately. So after that, we'll be like, okay, let's buy and hold it for a long time, long period. It's really good to buy cryptocurrencies, Ethereum or Bitcoin intraday. I mean, like on one hour chart, yeah, there are trades. There are really good trades. There are signals that you may buy intraday, intraweek, and sell intraday, intraweek. But if we are talking to you, uh, if we're trying to discuss a situation, if this is the moment to buy and hold, no, it's not yet. It's not yet, and there are still prices lower that may be tested, and market still can show you lower prices. That's what I'm trying to give you to understand. I'm not making any predict predictions like this will go down really far, this will go up really high. I'm trying to show you how we should act and what we see. Market is still the same. Cryptocurrencies, currencies, forex, uh, or indexes, or stock market, anything, brand, gold, they're showing the same movements. Price is trying to climb up with extremums or going down with extremums. We use 200 moving average. We use all those Fibonacci levels, Fibonacci extensions, and they work all the time. 
So you are really welcome to ask any forecast that you think will be useful for you because I do go through charts daily. <laughs> Even on weekends uh, due to cryptocurrency market, I also go through charts because this is something that make money right now. In this year, it's really good to trade it. So I hope that was, that, that was useful and please press those thumbs up, join my channel, and of course, you're welcome to ask questions under this video. Bye-bye, guys, see you later, and I wish you to be stable with yourself, so do not run around the market trying to catch every movement, okay? Take a look at history, and after you take a look at history, you see more than you see on one hour chart and 15 minute chart and so on. So I wish you a good day, bye-bye, guys, see you tomorrow.